Hello, my beautiful people on YouTube, on Facebook, and here on Instagram once again. Welcome. I'm so excited to be back over here with you guys again. As a reminder, we're studying the book, The Virtuous Woman of Today, and today's topic is a very good topic. We're going to be talking about how to become a woman who can do it all. So that being said, let's get started. Thank you once again for connecting. My name is Diana Bryan. For those of you who don't know me, and I'm a Christian life coach, and my passion is to help women transform their life with God's word. So welcome once again. The topic is going to be how to become a woman who can do it all. And we have been studying the book of the virtuous woman of today for quite a couple of weeks already. And as a reminder, what we're doing here is to um, find the pieces, the puzzle pieces that help us become the virtuous woman that God is calling us to become. Amen. But before we get started, I want to uh, remind you to give it a like to this video, to share it with other people, uh, and to make sure, guys, that you turn on those notifications. So every time I go live or I, I put a post or a motivational or inspirational post for you guys, you get that notification. So make sure you guys turn on those notifications. And I also have an a small announcement to give you and is that a starting on January, we're going to be going live at noon. So I will be going live once again, starting on January, every Wednesday at noon. So make sure you guys put it on your calendars. We're going to change the schedule. It's going to be going forward on January uh, or every Wednesday at noon. Uh, that being said, let's get started. We're, we're going to start with prayer tonight. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for the opportunity you have given us to be here in your presence, Father. Thank you for the word of encouragement you're going to give us tonight. Thank you, Father, because you have called us to be a virtuous woman, Father, and we want to learn how to become a virtuous woman who can do it all, Father. That's why tonight we ask you to please um, give us the strategies, give us the steps that we need to take in order to achieve everything you have called us to be. In the name of Jesus, we pray, and everybody says, Amen. Amen. I greet everybody who is connected and see here people on Facebook connecting on YouTube and here on Instagram. God bless you all. And let's get started, guys. So we've been talking about, and let me show you the book very quickly here again, the image of the book. If you guys can see, it's a bunch of little puzzle pieces. For those of you who are new or who are, is the first time that you guys are connecting, we are learning every single puzzle piece that composed that virtuous woman. And we have been learning in the past weeks, we learned already, we studied chapter one and chapter two. Chapter one, give us the first puzzle piece, which is to be a woman of good habits. Um, the second puzzle piece is to be a motivated woman. And the third puzzle piece is what we're going to be studying tonight and is to become a woman who can do it all. How many of you want to become that woman who can do it all? If that's you, I want you to type in an amen uh, because we want to be those women that whatever God calls us to do, we're empowered to do it. If we're being called to be a mother, an entrepreneur, or to organize our house, or to create good habits in our life, whatever it is, we want to be those women who can do it all. And tonight we're going to learn how to do that. So when we put those puzzle pieces together, once again, it becomes the virtuous woman of today. And I wanted to remind you guys that if you guys are watching through YouTube, Facebook, or here on Instagram, the videos are recorded and you guys can watch it later. So for those classes that we already have, those first two puzzle pieces that we already learned, those videos are in there. So you can go ahead and find them there. So let's get started, guys. If we can grab the Bibles and we're going to start with, with one scripture that truly is going to be our inspiration throughout this whole chapter. Uh, once again, we're reading chapter three, starting chapter three, and it's going to be our inspiration. That's going to be like the mod motor that is going to keep us moving and reminding us that we can do it all. And this is in Philippians 4.13. And it says, I can do everything 
in Christ Jesus who strengthens me. How many of you say amen tonight with me? We can do it all through him who strengthens us. So that means that the Lord has already equipped us to do whatever it is that he is calling us to do. And it's important that we understand that concept, that we understand that if he is telling you and he has given you something to accomplish in life, that means he has already equipped you to do it. And he will give you the strength to make it happen, to make it real in your life. Amen. Now, there is nothing in life that the Lord asks us to do that he doesn't prepare us and equip us to do it first. We can be sure and have our trust placed in God that he help us and he guide us through the whole process. That's why it is important that we treasure that scripture in our heart and that we really understand it, that we really believe it and that we steadfast on that promise that God is giving us that we can do anything and everything through him who strengthens us. Amen. Now there is another scripture that I want to read tonight. It's in 1 Corinthians 10 13. So 1 Corinthians 10 13. If you guys have your Bibles, look it up in your Bible. I'm going to read it. It says, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. In other words, what God is promising us, is, is giving us a promise here, is that he will never ask us to do something that we cannot get it done. He will never ask or put something in your hands that you guys will not be able to do. And that's where this is scripture or resist, right? And that's what this is scripture is talking about. That's why it is so important, guys, that you, you we treasure in our heart the promise that God is giving us tonight, that he will always help us, he will always guide us, and the most important important thing that he has already equipped us to do it. Amen. Now, this means that no matter what comes our way, you are able to create and to be a winner, let's put it that way, of anything that God is calling you to do. You are already victorious on whatever it is that God is asking you to do. How many of you believe it with me tonight? How many of you say, amen? Let's type it in in your comments. Amen, because we believe that God has already equipped us to do whatever he's calling us to do. And this goes, um, if he's calling you to be a mother, to be once again an entrepreneur, uh, any kind of profession you're doing at your job, organizing your life, or keeping up with your habits, or what we're doing right now, right? That is becoming the virtuous woman of today. It's activating that woman within us, that virtuous woman within us. So if he's telling us and he call us to do this, any of these things and anything he's calling us to do, that means he has already equipped us to do it. Amen. So you just need to treasure that word in your heart. You just need to believe it. And that's going to help you achieve anything he is calling you to do. Now, every action you take in life begins by taking the first step. Any action, anything that God is calling you to do, it all starts with one step. Once you have completed that step, then the Lord will reveal step two and step three. We have been talking about obedience, right? We have been talking about in the past classes. We have been talking about staying motivated on creating good habits. But all of this starts anything God is asking you to do. It always starts with step number one. We just need to be obedient and get it done. Now, in many occasions of my life, guys, I have seen how the Lord is step by step and little by little has revealed every single step I need to take on whatever it is that he's calling me to do. So sometimes what we do is we, you know, we hear something from the Lord. He wants us to do something or you're a new mother or you're new at your job or whatever it is. And we feel overwhelmed. And because we feel overwhelmed, we forget to ask God to help us to we forget that God has already equipped us. If he put us in that position, it's because he has equipped us to do it. And we forget this and we tend to just rely on our own abilities and forget that God has already equipped us, that he has already given us everything we need and that we need just to listen, that is step by step, he will get us to that place that we need to be. Our obedience in completing a step one leads us for God to reveal us a step two. So the 
process continues like that. He continues giving you one step after another into you're able to achieve your goal, into you're able to get to that place that you want to get. Amen. Now, in this process, day by day and step by step, we evolve, we grow. And in the areas that we grow is in our faith. We grow in our trust in God, and we also get closer to God through the, all these experiences. We learn to know Him in a deeper level uh, because we are trusting Him as we walk. How many of you agree with me? And you can say, praise God or put a, an amen in there, uh, agreeing that the Lord has already equipped us and that all we need to do is follow His steps. Amen. Now, once we understand that we can do everything that in His name and that He has given us the strength and equip us, once we understand that, then there is nothing that is going to come and try to intimidate you. You will know and you know and you know that if God allowed you to be in that position, to be where you are right now, it's because He has already given you everything you need to complete the task that He has given you. That's why we cannot doubt on whatever it is that God is calling us to do. We can allow the enemy to do that to us. Amen? Now, when we understand and adopt this promise, the promise of that through Christ we can do anything because He's the one who gives us the strength and the wisdom, uh, once we understand this, this promise once we own it, then it's going to be so much easier to obey God because we know and we're not doubting anymore that am I going to be a good mother? Am I going to be a good entrepreneur? Is this true uh, that, that I have all the abilities, that I have all these uh, beautiful qualities within me to become this virtuous woman? We're going to stop asking those questions because now we know that is a yes, that we have everything it requires for us to be amazing mothers, amazing entrepreneurs, amazing virtuous women, uh, women, and be able to accomplish everything God is calling us to do. Now, there is a couple of things here, guys, that I want to read directly from the book. It says, when we understand and adopt His promise as our own and are obedient to every step that God asks us to complete, we see our life tra be transformed in the following areas. We see our life advance. We see our life grow. We see our life thrive. Our abilities, skills, and performances are sharpened. And we truly believe that we are women who can achieve anything God calls us to do. These characteristics make the virtuous woman. So once you believe it, once you adopt it, once you treasure the, the promise that God has given you, then you're able to agree with him, align with him, and achieve anything he's calling you to do. You become unstoppable. So, but it is important that we believe that promise that God has given us. Once again, that promise is, I can do all things through Christ. Amen. Who gives me the strength, who gives me the wisdom, who equips me. Now, you are already equipped. We already understood that. We already know that. The word says that. Now, you just need to have two things in you. Once you, have, once you understand and, and treasure in your heart that you have been equipped by the Lord to do whatever He called you to do, you need to have these two things. You need to believe and you need to obey God. Those are two critical things that you need to do in order to accomplish anything God is calling you to do in whatever area of your life. You need to believe and you need to obey. Now, your obedience will lead the Lord to quickly reveal to you those steps that you need to take in your life. So the more you obey, the faster you obey, the faster the Lord will be able to reveal those next steps you need to take. What is it that you need to do? And I'm going to give you a testimony, guys, um, in a moment that is going to show you how the Lord gives you in small steps, things that you are able to manage. And then little by little, he starts giving you more so he can trust you in the more. And that's what, that's what exactly the word of God says. He says, because you were loyal in the little, I'm able to put you in big things. Amen. Now, in the process, when you put your trust in God, he always helps and equips you to accomplish everything he's asking you to do. If he gave you a step one, he's going to equip you for you to complete that step. And then he, when he gives you step two, he's going to equip you to complete that step. That's why our obedience is the one that triggers God to move his hand. Amen. Now, my testimony, as I was telling you, for many years, guys, 
And this I, I'm telling you because I've been there. I know how it feels to not feel equipped, to doubt if what God is calling us to do really came from Him or, or if it was just my imagination. So that's why I felt inclined to tell you this testimony. And for many years, I always had in my heart a desire and I felt that it was a calling from God to write a book. And, but I didn't feel ready or I didn't feel prepared to do it. Um, I thought I needed to have a study literature or to be super fluent in, in, in English or to have had a traumatic story in my life that would actually call the attention of people to want to read the book. Or, you know, I just didn't feel equipped. I didn't feel that I was, I didn't believe that I could do it through Christ, right? Let's be honest here. Like sometimes we read that scripture, but we don't treasure it in our heart. And that's why I'm telling you guys, it's so important to treasure God's word in our heart. And, you know, and, and I abandoned the idea many times and, and every single time it will come back on my heart, I will just abandon it because I wouldn't feel equipped to do it. And this went on for several years until one day it finally resonated on me that if God was calling me to do this, he had already equipped me. How he was going to do it, when he was going to do it, I didn't know, but I knew that if I believe and I treasure that in my heart, that through him, not with my own abilities, but through him, I will be able to do it. Then I will be able to uh, accomplish whatever he was calling me to do. So the Lord, and this is the way, guys, that's why I wanted to share this with you, because the way I ended up writing my first book was very interesting. And I learned so much in this process with the Lord. I was telling you that God, you know, he, you advance in your life, you grow in your life, you get closer to him, you get to know him better through this. When you believe him and when you say, yes, God, I can do it because you said I can do it. And you just throw yourself and you say, you know what, I'm a, do a woman who can do it all. And you really believe God on that. And he started giving me little steps on when I said, yes, Lord, I'm ready. Here I am. I want to do it. And I believe that you are going to help me through this. And the first step the Lord gave me was to clean my desk and organize my desk. And I didn't know how that was going to end up on writing a book. But everything that God asked you to do, guys, don't minimize it. Don't don't think this is a simple step. This didn't come from God because God starts from there. He starts with little steps. And the first thing he asked me was to keep my desk organized for 21 days. Like I felt in my heart every single day, I would ask God, okay, I, I'm keeping it organized. What else do I need to do? And it was still in my heart, just keep your desk organized. So I was obedient, right? And I was believing. Remember those two things, guys, to do, be a woman who can do it all. You have to believe and you have to obey. So I was believing that at his perfect time, he was going to put in my heart the how to write this book, right? Now, and once again, don't don't skip those small steps. Don't don't think that it didn't come from God because they do come from the Lord. Now, the first step, once again, was to to do this. And during those 21 days while I was keeping my desk organized and I was keeping everything just like the Lord had asked me to do on my desk, I started feeling more inspired. I wanted to spend more time at my desk. Um, I wanted to have, and I noticed that I started having an ability to organize not just the desk, but my ideas as well. And I was being more creative. I was able to listen to God even better without distractions. And the ideas started to flow easier. I was able to just see things faster because there was no clutter on my desk. So everything, once again, that God asks us to do has a reason why. That's why we can't dismiss what the Lord asked us to do. Now, after I had managed to keep up my desk organized and up to today, that's my number one habit I have is before I start working, my desk needs to be in order so I can, my ideas can flow, the Lord can speak, I don't have distractions. And after I managed to follow that, the Lord started giving me the next steps. The step number two was to create a personal development video series of my experiences of based on the virtuous woman, based on the things that I have learned from my personal time with him and, and through all my years with him. And I developed these videos and I upload them on YouTube. And, and I was very, it was very easy for me to see where God was leading me as far as developing, far from knowing that it was a book, what I was writing, right? But I was just 
believing and obeying. Now, the step number three that God gave me was to now take those teachings and teach it to my to the ladies on my local local church, and that's what I started doing. I started teaching those um, series, those those lessons that God has given me um, to my ladies and in, in the local church. And from there, the Lord said, "All these teachings that you have been teaching is the book." And then he gave me the wisdom on how to put it together. And that, my love, is the book that we're studying today. That's the book that you're reading. That is the book that I, for so many years, was telling God no, because I didn't feel equipped. Guys, if the Lord can do it with me, he can do it with you. And that's why I'm telling you, no matter what it is that he's calling you to do, you can do it. You're a woman who can do it all. He has already equipped you. I didn't go and I didn't study literature. I didn't study. I just, I was obedient with God. And I was able to to come up with what the Lord has placed in my heart to do. And that today's blessing thousands of ladies all over the world and and he's blessing their life because of the obedience and and believing that god can do it through me so that's why i'm telling you that if god was able to do it through me guys he can do anything through you he can raise that child through you he can uh, be the you can be the best worker at work you can become the best a uh, woman that can create good habits in your life. You can do it all because he's there to help you, to guide you, just like he did with me. Once again, if he did it with me, he will be able to do it with you as well. And um, so today I want to share with you the first step. You know, the book is all divided on practical steps, guys, that you can follow to become whether a motivated woman, a, good, a woman of good habits, or in this case, to become a woman who can do it all. So we're going to share those steps. But tonight, next week, I'm going to share all, all of them. But tonight, I'm going to share, share the first step because I think it's the most important step to become a woman who can do it all. And it's the one step that is still until today when I have doubts if it was the Lord, if I'm equipped, if I am ready to do whatever it is that God is calling me to do, that's the one step that always helps me to push through, to get it done, to believe, to to get back, bring my mind back to align with God and what He's telling me that I can do. Amen. And this first step is pray with faith and expectation. Pray, pray with faith and expectation. Now, sometimes when we pray, guys, um, and remember, prayer is the way we communicate with the Lord. It's the way we speak to Him, the way we, um, we're we able to, to tell the Lord how we're feeling, what we're thinking, what we need. That's what He expects from us. He expects from us to talk to Him, and that's what prayer is. But when we pray with Him, and, and let me give you an example, guys, because all this that I'm telling you are things that God has show me has ministered to me through my relationship with him and i remember one day just struggling with prayer and you know like like what do i say how do i do it and the lord placed on my heart like he put it in in this simple way it's like when i speak to my husband or my mother or my sister or or a friend right like i come and i speak to them i give them my thoughts and at the same time i'm a expecting an answer from them, especially when I have a question, right? I'm expecting and I know that when I'm speaking, that person is listening. So it's the same thing with the Lord. When you're talking to him, you need to speak to him with faith, believing that he is hearing you, believing that he's going to answer your prayer at his perfect time and believing that he's not going to leave you hanging. And, And that's the way this prayer needs to be. When you talk to the Lord, you need to make sure you understand what you're doing. You're talking to your creator, right? The one who can do it all for you. And and open up your heart and, and just talk to him. He That's what he wants from you. And prayer, guys, is a powerful weapon that God has given us so we can overcome it all. So if you're feeling insecure, if you're feeling that you are not equipped, whatever you're feeling, prayer will overcome that especially a prayer full of faith and expectation. If you're asking God to help you, He will help you. And 
whatever in the, the the word of god says that that whatever you ask the lord especially if you come in agreement with somebody else that's why in a couple of weeks ago we put prayer partners because it's important to pray together uh he will listen and he will help you and every time you have something to do and feel resistance the first thing you need to do is cry out to the lord the first thing you need to do is pray with that expectation and with that faith I want to read 1 Thessalonians, Thessalonians, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, guys. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 18, from from 16 to 18. It says, rejoice always and pray continually. Give thanks to God in every situation because this is the will for you in Christ Jesus. The Lord is always ready to help you, to equip you, to give you the wisdom in everything you do. All you have to do is ask. And this last part was obviously part from the book that I'm reading to you guys. But God is always there. He wants you to pray. He wants you to come to him with thanksgiving, thanking him. Because if you right now, like for example, when I was trying to write this book, at the moment when I wasn't feeling equipped, that wasn't God's fault. That was my own fault from not believing that he was equipping me and calling me to do this, right? But if you come with thanksgiving, thank you, Lord, because you have called me to be a mother, you have called me to be an entrepreneur, you have called me to be a wife, whatever it is he's calling you to do, write a book, whatever it is, that you're not feeling equipped, but you come with that thanksgiving saying, thank you, Lord, because if you give it to me, it's because I know and I know and I know you have equipped me already. And then you ask for help. You say, Lord, help me. I know I can do everything through you who gives me the strength. So give me the strength, give me the wisdom, and he will give it to you. Jesus taught us, And in Matthew 17, 20 says, truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. And look at this part, guys. It says, nothing will be impossible for you. Prayer is everything. When you do it with faith, he, you can move mountains. The Lord will move them for you. So nothing is impossible for you. Why? Because nothing is impossible for God. How many of you say amen? Let's type in amen. If you guys are agreeing with me, if you guys are believing that whatever God is calling you to do, you're a woman who can do it all. I want to see you guys typing in. In the meantime, I want to tell you something that the Lord ministered to me not too long ago. And I'm going to be honest with you because sometimes we fall into this trap of forgetting, right? We forget what God has told us. And that's why it's good to to remember and to continuously read God's word because he ministered to us and he helped us and he guided us. And not too long ago, I don't remember what I was complaining about. Something that I wasn't able to do. I felt unequipped, you know, and I, I, I just couldn't figure it out. And I was frustrated. And then I heard in a small voice inside of me, I'm not kidding you guys, that said, stop complaining and start praying. The moment you stop complaining, the moment you stop saying, I cannot do it, and you pray, then can, God can work and help you and give you the wisdom and give you the strength to do what you need to do. But sometimes we get so wrapped up in the moment, in our inability to do things, that we forget that there is a God who wants to help us. So stop complaining and start praying. Amen. Now, I am sure at some point you thought it would be easy to be, be uh, give up on whatever God has calling you to do, has called you to do. That it would be easier just to abandon whatever God has called you to do. Um, but I, I'm here to tell you tonight, guys, that if God has given it to you, if it is in your hands, it's because you can do it. You can do it. And I want you guys to type in wherever you are, whether you're watching here live with me or you're watching the, the, the play later on, I want you guys to type in or write it on your notes. I can do it all through Christ. I want you guys to type it in. I can do it all through Christ. Remember that you were equipped to do whatever God is calling you to do. And I want to mention this to you guys. When you pray, look at the powerful things that happen when you pray. When you're frustrated instead of complaining, when you pray, look what happens. When you pray, fear disappears. It goes away. It flees from you. Laziness is gone. So if you're feeling fear or you're being lazy, pray and you will see how it flees from you. If you feel discouraged, it's gone. 
when the moment you pray, the, the moment you pray, discouragement is gone and doubt is gone as well. And all of those things flee when you pray. And when you pray with faith, when you pray with, with that expectation that God is going to help you, when you come with that willingness, with that heart, believing in God, and with all those scriptures tre treasured in your heart, then the Lord will hear your prayer and he will help you. And I'm speaking from a, from a testimony, from a woman who was frustrated, who had a desire in her heart, didn't know how to do it, didn't feel equipped to do it, wasn't prepared, never studied to do something like that, yet the Lord has already equipped her for something that I didn't know even it was within me. So whatever it is that you have in your hands right now, guys, believe that you can do it because God is helping you to do it. And be obedient in the smallest steps, in the small things that God is giving you. Now, I want to close by reading this last uh, part of the book that I have here, the, a phrase that I have in the book. Um, it says, prayer has power. Your miracle is within reach of a prayer full of faith and expectation. Pray until you get your answer. In Him, we are more than victorious. How many of you say amen with me? And we really need to believe it. We really need to believe that we're just one pray away from getting our miracle, from getting that result that we wanted to achieve. And that's exactly what I did. This, this idea of writing this book haunt me for years. And one day I just stand up and I said, I believe you, God. And I started praying and I started seeking God for direction and I was able to see it come through. So you too can see come through whatever it is that you are asking God to do. Amen. So just believe it in your heart. Just treasure it in your heart. And with that, my loves, this is the third piece of the puzzle. And how many of you are ready to activate it? How many of you are ready to say, I'm a woman who can do it all? If that is you, I wanted to type in, I can do all things through Christ. I can see you guys typing it already, but let's say it again. Let's declare it. Record, remember that through all these classes, I have been telling you guys the importance of declaring the word of God, the importance of agreeing. The more you say it, the more you write it, the more you repeat it, the more you're going to treasure it in your heart. So type in, I can do all things through Christ all things the Lord didn't say some things little things no he said all things so you can do it amen now before we close in prayer guys I want to remind you for the guys the, the ladies who join later that we meet every Wednesday and we're going to continue meeting every Wednesday at 7 p.m but starting January we're going to switch schedules now we're going to go to noon so we're going to meet every Wednesday at noon. The classes will still be recorded. You guys can watch it later. I hope you guys can join uh, at noon starting January. Um, but until the end of the year, we're going to be here at 7 um, with you guys. Continue bringing the best that God has pl placed on my heart to share with you guys. But once again, starting January, we're going to go at noon. Okay? And the classes will still be recorded. Now, remember that tomorrow you guys have the workshop with Angelica, where Angelica is going to help you activate this special and very important piece of prayer. You guys are going to be making a list of all the things that you guys are believing God for. She's going to teach you how to do it. You guys are going to be able to activate that puzzle piece. Uh, and this is step especially, take action on it. On Tuesdays, Mio is praying with you and for you, for your requests, guys, on our private uh, Facebook group, Transform Your Life. If you guys need links to any of this, send, it, send me a DM and I will be more than happy to send them to you. I think I already put them in the description anyway on YouTube and Facebook and here on Instagram, you guys will be able to see it as well. And finally, make sure you share this video. Make sure you give it a like, you share it, guys. You invite all the ladies to these classes. I know it's going to bless not just your life, but their life as well. Amen. So that being all, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Father, for the word you have given us tonight. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us that we are created to be women who can do it 
all father no matter what you're asking us to do we know you have equipped us we know father you have given us all the tools to be able to achieve everything you're calling us to be become and do lord thank you so much father for being our strength for uh, giving us the wisdom that we need to achieve every single task i ask you father to please bless every single lady that are present tonight and the ones that are going to be watching this later on, Father, that you bless their life, their families, Father, that you continue helping them activate this puzzle pieces you're giving them to become the virtuous woman that you are calling us to be. Thank you, Lord, and we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. Have a blessed night, and I'll see you next Wednesday at 7 p.m.